Hey guys, you're working here, and welcome to the final episode of season one of my FIFA 18 Liverpool Crew mode. First up is the FA Cup final against Manchester United, which will be followed by the FA Cup, uh, by the Champions League final against Barcelona. But first, the undefeated streak must continue, and if you have never seen me before, and I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. In every FIFA since I first played FIFA, in every career mode, who I've come up against Manchester United. But while playing as Liverpool, I have never lost to Manchester United. Not once. This for a place in the record books, the I'm history books. Perfect. And the hands on this wonderful trophy. It's the FA Cup final. To continue that today. Well, it's always ring in red. The triple. Before then having the channel of the Emirates FA Cup. Watched all around the world. And it's our privilege to watch it too. Alan, isn't it? It is. And always sends a shiver down the spine. It really does. It's the most famous cup competition in the world. And Really looking forward to it. Just the single change for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Nemanja Matic plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. Latan Ibrahimovic is the lone striker today. Lallana! Now the shot! Wrath in the end by the goalkeeper finally after a frantic piece of play which included a remarkable save just a or two earlier. You thought for all the world like there was going to be a goal there and they should have been more clinical with the second chance in the end. Simple for the keeper. Of course, be lifting the FA Cup. Still one of the great fixtures in the English game. Manchester United and Liverpool. The... Uh, History is long. Hopefully, returns. Matches are very, very competitive. Well, we've seen some terrific contests down the years, and there's a sense of bitterness almost between the two sets of fans. Brings me swiftly to massive contests. What the fuck happened? Can anyone explain it? Because I can't. A bit of menace to it. Okay, let's let's look at each goal. Two goals can see from a set piece, yeah. Simple save for. But we don't need a center back, do we? No, of course not. It's, it would only, you know, show us making progression. We can't make progression. We can only watch our, our rivals spend a hundred million there, a hundred million there. Man City spending a hundred and fifty fucking million on full back. A certain opening goal. Ex and going from one of the worst defenses last season to having the best. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. The word far off taking the lead there. I mean, am I the only one who knows that? Now Casimiro. Liverpool take over possession again. Slipping it through. He's through here. It's shut off now. You're okay, and Parry it out. The Liverpool owners do not go out and spend money in January. Then, what is the point of watching them for the rest of the season? I know for a fact, and you guys can probably go back and check. Coutinho. What did I say when the window closed? Other freaking disaster. Trash. Mata. I told you all that Liverpool season will be a piece of shit because we didn't sign new defenders. And a surprise, I was right. Place at the right time to cut it out. Question it. Hmm? Now that Mourinho proved once again he can't play against Seville. Can Andy Robertson get a game? Why did we pay 10 million if he can't he fucking goes. play? Is he injured? Is he... Keeps the ball in his grasp. He having 50 more babies? Like the last time we saw him. It was... We were being told he was having a kid. Since then, 
he seemingly vanished off the face of the planet. I would take James Milner at left back. Awful! And at center back, Matip is injured. Excellent vision. And what a surprise! He's exactly what I said would happen. We are stuck with Lovren and Clavan. We have no other center backs! Who would have thunk it? Going into a season with three center backs was a bad idea. This is the team in form, isn't it? They are excellent, these players today. And, they've got and we have no one in front of them to protect them, them to offer extra protection. Why don't we have a center defensive mid? And don't tell me we have Henderson. He doesn't count. He is not a defensive mid. He does not count. And by the way, he was terrible in that game as well. So if he's the answer, or I don't know what the question is. A lot of two and throwing is, in the press who else the can Liverpool add to the we'll fire out of a cannon? Maybe? Maybe that's the answer to is the question. Maybe that's the question we're asking that Jordan Henderson is the answer to. If, if the question is who when Liverpool's team could realistically be on that our Liverpool captain, it should not be Jordan Henderson. To add on two extra minutes. He is not a captain. He shouldn't be our captain. In terms of speed, Anthony Martial. When I removed him from the team, the game gave the captain's armband to Lalana. I've had no reason to move it. They've worked very hard to get into that position. Yeah, they have, and, and they can feel well... He has some experience, and he's actually played well under Jurgen Klopp. The only reason we haven't seen in if Lallano can continue his great he transition from hmm, 25 million flop to... Oh, Jesus Christ, where's this Lallana been? Where was this Lalana last season? Get the occasion really since he signed. Their system and concentrate on the football match, so we're into the second half yeah. now. And it seemed to line. come in yeah. as soon as Klopp came in. Lalana has been a different player under Klopp. And no one can tell me he hasn't. He has been our best player since who was here before Klopp came. Let me stress that he's a, he's been our best player who was here before Klopp came. That excludes Mane and Salah, which is, you know, fair enough, because, well, to say well, I has been playing better than those two is hilariously bad. But, oh my god, can you imagine Lalana providing balls for her Salah? Huh? If Jamie Carragher thinks Salah can get 25 goals with the goal... Uh, yeah, with the shut it team we have now, imagine him with being supplied balls well, by the only guy in our, our midfield who, who seems to give a shit because Gene Wanalum seems to only play when he feels like it. Henderson is trash, and Emery Chan is booking flights to Italy. Managers really earn their money in a losing situation. They've got to make a substitution. They've got to get it right, really, to have any chance of getting anything from the match. Romelu Lukaku. The you know what pisses me off more? I know for a fact we won't spend in big in January. He, almost no one does. They all seem to save the big spending for the manager turns away in disgust. He expects for the summer, and maybe we get occasionally a decent transfer in the January transfer window. But not every transfer window can happen by Luis Suarez. Liverpool need to have a January like that. We need to bring in a Luke Suarez. We need to get rid of the shit that is seeing our, our team. Emre Chan is probably going to sign a pre-contract agreement with, your, with, with Juventus or Borussia Dortmund or whoever the fuck he's planning to go to. Ooh, it looks like it's going to be Juventus. And you know what? I say fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, we've given him no reason to want to sign a new contract. 
He wants a, a release clause, which is why he, he hasn't signed one yet. A new contract yet. Liverpool. And for some reason, the play, they, they own this one fucking... There won't be much quarter given. And give it to him. If it's too low, negotiate. It doesn't take six fucking months. Why wasn't this handled when it was the summertime? Why did it... Why are we still talking about this? Nice return pass. The fact that we are still talking about this tells me he is leaving. It's the same situation as Ozil and Sanchez. If they were going to sign new contracts, they would have. And that's why Arsenal fans are pretty much accepting the fact that Sanchez and Ozil have their bags packed and their, and their flights booked to wherever the fuck they're going. They're on the move now. Saying that Sanchez could get a bus to Manchester. Or, and I think Ozil might be going to Manchester too, so you know, maybe, maybe they're going to carpool. I don't know. I don't know and I don't care. And now they've got to get back. But, but, you know, if they do go to Manchester, oh, what a surprise. Our rifles are getting even better. And in the summer, when we know, when we're, when our shit, it results, cost us Champions League football. Philip Coutinho is off to Barcelona. Emre Chan is gone. And, and, and someone's probably buying Sadio Mane. I'd be surprised if we didn't get a few bids from Mo Salah, the way he's going. In the middle. Only partially away from danger. No Champions League football means the vultures come and, s and rip the carcass dry. Touch nothing but bone. And then they rip the bone apart as well. But like a pack of savage dogs. Spin through. Mane. How did he reach that? Brilliant goalkeeping. And what was once a promising in team that Good defending. If we got our defense together, we could it easily well give Man City a run for their money. But instead, we decided, no, we're good. We're good. We're fine with an injury crop. Take on the Waste the space on our bench. While Divock Origi is over in Germany. He, he, for some reason, I don't know why. He, can anyone explain it? I would love to know. I would legit like to know. I really would. Full goal. It's a terrific goal at a terrific time, and it should seal the win. And, and with all due respect to Roberto Firmino, whether Salah gets 20 goals in a season or not uh, is irrelevant. Firmino should be scoring those goals. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh, that's right. He's not that kind of player. He's a good player. I'm not saying anything bad about Roberto Firmino. He's a good player. But is he a 20 goal a season striker? No. Because he's not even a striker. He's a central attacking mid. Who we're playing at striker like a bunch of fucking idiots. Man and I have two world-class strikers. Chelsea have have a world-class striker in Alberto Marta. So much so that they tossed the other one on the side he, before the January transfer window is even opened. Man City he have have two world-class strikers who are scoring them bag full of goals. And how even Arsenal have a better striker than us. Yes. Hell, Arsenal have two strikers who are capable of scoring goals, goals, goals for fun. Hmm. Now, obviously, Liverpool would do nothing with it, Olivier Giroud, because he would be our style. But why didn't we go for an Alexander Lacazette? Why didn't we go for here and make Aubameyang? We've been knowing for some time that they are the champions. Why? Where was? The desire. Where was the money? Where was long and hard. each Premier League team got a hundred over one hundred million? What did we spend it on? What did we spend it on? Because we didn't spend it on defenders. That's for damn sure. The only defender we bought, we don't even fucking play. He's sitting on the bench 
doing and I don't know what. Probably thinking, you know what, I miss Scotland. He didn't even come from Scotland, he plays he played in Hull. He's like, fucking hell, fuck this, fuck this, I'm going out here in January. Fuck this, fuck this, fucking hell. Relegation was better than this, at least I played. Freaking Nabi Kate is probably watching this thinking, Jesus Christ, the team is gonna be fucking disastrous before I even get there. Or and uh, I've already signed the contract. I'm fucked. Fucked. Huh? I'm for Nabi Kate is probably ring up his agent, hey, get me the fuck out of Liverpool before I even fucking get there. Well it's all part of a very special day. It's a joke. And it's just gonna get worse. It's just gonna get worse. The Football Association Challenge Cup. Final. I would love to know Manchester United nil. Why Liverpool two. We didn't spend. I would love to know why he the Liverpool who owners and and Jurgen Klopp have for some reason made it, it impossible for us to actually have faith in the team and in the badge. How can you have faith in that team? Anytime they build up a few wins, it's a, a loss or a disappointing draw is just around the fucking corner. And every Liverpool fan is waiting for it. Hell, not just Liverpool fans, every fan is waiting for it because they get to fucking laugh at us. It's when it gets to the point that even Arsenal can laugh at how bad we are. You know that? that's bad. I'm getting to the point where I think we don't need the guys on Red Man TV. We need our own version of DT and troops to fucking Show about the board until they get the fuck out of our club. Or actually do something with the fucking money we know they have. And the club is getting season after season. I wish I didn't want to blame Jurgen Klopp, but the fact of the matter is, someone is doing wrong by the club. The owners won't listen. Eventually, they're going to think, we want Klopp gone. And when they cut that head off, of then, then the shit will hit the fan. It's coming. Everyone I talk to says I'm being bleak. I'm being negative. I'm not being bleak. I'm not being negative. I'm predicting the fucking future. A future without great players. A future without Jurgen Klopp. A future getting worse and worse and worse. We need to improve. We need to be the team that we can be. We are not some low team. We are not a Sunderland. We are not one of these promoted teams who are expected to do badly. Hell, the promoted teams are doing better than us. There's a surprise. There's a surprise. We need to be what we are. You know what we are? We are Liverpool fucking football club. 
We need to show the passion. In. In. We need to show the fight. And we need to show why we were the team. In. And why we can be the team again. But it's not going to happen without improvement. Without investment. And without the board waking the fuck up. During the summer, Philip Coutinho handed a transfer request to go to Barcelona. A lot of people thought, how could he? After everything we done, we plucked him from the obscurity of beings in a nobody at Inter Milan and turned him into a world class player. Now he wants to fuck off. You know why he wants to go to Barcelona? Because Barcelona actually can win some fucking trophies. He can play with the likes of you know Messi. He has Luis Suarez back in front of him. Him, a man who knows where the goal is instead of Roberto Firmino. Oh, and Mo Salah, even with all the goals he scored, he's missed as probably twice as many shots. It's been a season-long crusade, fitted in, of course, with the domestic commitments of both these. That's players. why. How well they've done in the Champions Cup to reach this final. He wants well, out. That's why. Shortly enough. Well, this is a great day for the Champions he, Cup. Final. He wanted it's to go to Barcelona. It's got to be played to a finish, and hopefully it will live up to the occasion, Alan. I think so. I think it will, Martin. I hope we rise to the occasion in the way. That and if you want to deny that, today. that's your own business. But you can't deny the truth. Forever, because eventually it'll come and get you. I have nothing else to say. Enjoy the rest of the match because you're going to have a, no commentary. Because I'm. Because I'm ranted out. I'm. Enjoy the rest. Enjoy the match. I'll, I'll, I will see you all. And see you. Man of the match last time out. Sadio Mane starts with Mohamed Salah in the wide positions. And the main striker is the Argentinian Paolo Dybala. Got the ball and they're going at the opposition with speed. Possible quick reaction time here from the goalkeeper. And it will be a kick for the goalkeeper. Goal kick. Jordi Alba. Little private game between the two of them. Lovely, incisive pass. He's in. And the goalkeeper plunged to make the save. Corner here for Liverpool. Well, at first sight, Alan, I must say, it didn't look like a goal. It's good to have the replay because that helps us if it's tighter, but that wasn't one of the tighter issues. No, I think we all knew wasn't over although one or two of the forwards were appealing with arms up but that replay that confirms it Coutinho plays the ball in that's a decent header but not quite good enough well they're going to get tighter to him because he's a really good header of the ball he showed it there The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They played pretty well. Sergio Busquets. Jordi Alba. Referee says free kick. Well, you want width and you want quality in the width and probably they've got that with this new acquisition. Well, I think so, and uh, the one player that would be pleased to see him arrive is the centre-forward because I think he can expect 
better service now from a lad that does swing in good crosses. Nice signing Thiago Silva, they certainly stiff in the defence here. And he might go up and head in a few corners as well. Yeah, I do love to watch him. This could be a chance. He's in now. And for goal! Close, difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I'm oh, surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. Ivan Rakitic. Lionel Messi. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Getting forward well as a team now. So here we are on what is a massive, massive day for this football club, a cup final. And we've heard from the manager in the pre-game press conference that he has really wanted to boost his players' morale for this final. It seemed to be the way the nature of the comments were going. Yeah, I mean, he's done all he possibly can in, in the press conference beforehand. Whether he feels that they do need a boost, whether one or two aren't playing with the confidence needed for a cup final like this, we shall see shortly. Barcelona awarded the throw here. Now it's Usman Dembele. Yes, it's another throw here. Henry Chan. This could be it. It must be. Got to be. A statement made here by the scorer of this opening goal in the Champions Cup final. Oh, that could be so important because this team's got a very good defence. Liverpool ahead. Pique. Coutinho. With well, a chance opened up here. Dybala. Struck the post here. Well, that's straightforward for the goalkeeper. Coutinho. Well, the decks have been cleared as far as this competition is concerned. We're now about to see where the die is cast in terms of the colour of the winning team in the Champions Cup final. Special day. And we've got a free kick here. That's for sure, it's a goal kick. Let's look at it again. Sharp movement. It's gone out for a goal kick. Ivan Rakitic. Throw in coming up. Thiago Silva. Ivan Rakitic. the move and able to cut out the pass well they're in a good position here well no sooner said than Coutinho oh what a fine goal they lead by two now they'll feel a little bit more comfortable and they have good value for this advantage at the moment but if you keep going in to that sort of area, the ball will drop for you, and it dropped perfectly for him. That's a lesson to anybody uh, in June, the goal to keep getting into the positions in the 18-yard, in the six-yard box, and you will score. Just widen the margin here to 2-0 Alcacer this team looks to me Alan as the halftime whistle goes as they're heading towards 
lifting this Champions Cup trophy. What a good first half. Well, they've been impressive in everything they've done. It's been a thoroughly polished performance. Well, the first half flash by, second half underway here, Champions Cup final. Yeah, and a chance for people just to settle down in that dressing room at half-time and come out and produce the best in the final 45 minutes. They could pose some danger now. Steered through by Dybala. Comes out, cross off. Pull on the frame of the goal. Lallana. It's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Interception. Oh, he's through. Saw the goal and went for it. Clean through, one on one against the goalkeeper. Yeah, it's a wonderful stop, Martin, isn't it? And uh, no bits and pieces either to follow up on. Coutinho plays the ball in. The save by Marc Andre to Stegen. screening and he's kept the ball and he's run out of room Leo Messi even he can do that well now they're behind they've got to try and switch things around and here comes a substitution now Sadio Mane Robertson now here's a chance to get at the opposition and that's what a coach would want to stop the supply into the middle Liverpool's corner he is a man in form, I would say, today. Oh, he's looked really lively today, hasn't he? He's been getting the ball in good areas, turning, shooting with both feet, and he's got himself a goal. Coutinho's corner. Salah! That'll be another corner. Delivered by Coutinho. Disappointed that that didn't lead to more. Nathaniel Klein. Adam Lallana. To Andre Gomez. Nice return pass. Ivan Rakitic. Cleverly done. Big moment, actually, because there was a chance there if he hadn't been able to intervene. Andre Gomez. Oh, he's cut that out well, well read. Well, they're in a good position here. Mane with the cross. Tried to keep it down, but couldn't quite manage it. Oh, I thought he was going to score there. I thought he should have scored. Ivan Rakitic. They've got the ball in the middle of the pitch here. Liverpool take over possession again. And Coutinho! Brave to take that on, Alan. He wasn't far away. He's got a history of finding the back of the net from these distances. They've linked up well. The shot's on! Now it's offside. Gomez and they're trying to dispossess him it's a dynamic run this from Dybala he's gonna try his luck and it's in the net for the goal
Well, they've increased their lead here, and that could just wrap up the match. Yeah, no, the much better team out here today, and that scoreline reflects that. And here is another angle on that goal. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Expected this such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. Anyone thought, like we did, that Liverpool were going to have some problems in this game? Proved totally wrong. They've ripped the opposition to shreds. It's been a dominant performance, and they are thoroughly deserving this uh, position of such supremacy. De Belle, very, very close, just past the post. Well, I think half the crowd, you know, thought that was going to nestle in the corner of a the net there. Paco Alcacer. And that is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Jordi Alba getting forward well as a team now. Now Sadio Mane. And he could get away here. Got to keep his nerve here. Ivan Rakitic. Jordi Alba on to the attack now he's got his shot off now it's a fine strike but not quite what he was hoping for but well, when he's hit it I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net not quite though switch the play very good forward thinking Mane Sadio Mane almost stealthily into scoring position here not picked up and they paid a heavy price for that well that really has finished the job perfectly they've dominated the match yeah ruthless they weren't going to go easy on the opposition only professional performance let's see the replay now some time that they are the champions Alan yeah absolute joy amongst those players they've worked long and hard haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so and boy they deserve it these are special moments for a very successful team congratulations to them Within that dressing room, which you need at any 
successful club. He's a certainly been that. Photo. And they're getting ready for it now. Yeah, one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home. This could be it. 